it's not often that I get to do story time here on the channel. And that's right, that's exactly what we're doing right now here with Millie because she is an important enough character to be included in the Meet the Cars book. Yeah, she's in the fancy book. And you know, we don't get to do this that frequently because, well, you know, we're four and a half years past the release of Cars 3, you know, we're 15 years past the release of Cars, so they don't make many characters these days that haven't already been made, and the ones that they do that haven't been made are background characters that have no story or bios or whatever, but Millie here on the other hand, say hi Millie, actually had some speaking lines in Cars 3, which I find awesome, I'm so glad that they're releasing her, and it just really really screams out that that blue gremlin in Cars 2 at the end there on the London streets who had that one speaking line, he needs to get released pronto because then I think we'd almost have every single character who spoke in the movies as a diecast. But anyway, when you work in a state-of-the-art modern facility like Millie does, everything needs to be spick and span. Buffing the levels of floors at the Rusty's Racing Center is a job she could only dream about when she started her career at her hometown tractor tire dealership. It wasn't long, however, till she learned that race cars make as many smudges on a pristine floor as tractors do. And her vehicle type is a Buffmatic 2000. So yeah, that is clearly fictional as you can see there, the vacuum or the spick and span or whatever she uses there is a buffing tin X, making it seem like it's kind of from the same buff company or whatever you want to call it. So yeah, Millie here is in 2021 singles case M, which is the last case of the year. And I unboxed it just recently. So I'll leave the link for that in the description below and card suggestion pop up in the top right hand corner. Definitely check it out. It's a decent case. I'm not going to rave about it, but it's a good one to end of the year, I guess. Now, obviously, she is new for 2021. This is the last time we're reviewing a Desert Horizon single. In regulation, I guess. I might review one in the 12 Days of Christmas. But this is like regulation. That's overtime. Metal, you got the choking hazard because she does come with, of course, the vacuum or the cleaner. And then the cone here, which is a brand new cone that will compare to previous cones that Mattel has released before. On the back, we have a little amalgam of other releases from, well, they think Cars 3. Pick Remember Fillmore is a little quasi Cars 3. He's mainly a Cars 1 guy, but he did briefly appear in Cars 3 with that bandana. Anyways, you have Donico Cruz, Jimmy Cables, Murray Clutchburn, and Maddie McGear. A little choking hazard here as well that takes the place of a couple other die casts. But yeah, I'm super pumped about this one. She has been showing up at USA Walmart stores and I think somewhere else as well. I think in Canada. So yeah, they're out there. I hope you can find them. But anyways, we're going to get right into it here. herself into the top three of my favorite releases from the entire year. Now I'll let you guys speculate on what that possibly could be because we have to talk about her appearance in the movie first and then we'll go through the two accessories and then we'll get to her and no skipping ahead. I want you guys to think about what is something that I only would know after I opened her up because you know looking at her in the package and, and pictures online you know, I liked her. She looked good, but I wouldn't call her a top three release or anything like that. But now I opened her up. She most definitely is a top three release of the year. Anyways, so there is a picture of her from the movie. She does have her speaking lines like we talked about. Looking pretty sarcastic, like the expression here on the die cast in that scene there while McQueen is waiting to go into Sterling's office. And he kind of has that mental blip there where he thinks that she's like telling them that he's done as a racer but basically she was just talking about her cleaning stuff or whatever all right so we're going to talk about the cone here first this is a plastic cone not like you know as you could hear you can hear it fall there it's not 
rubber like these other ones where you can like twist them around and you could hear them fall like rubber and they don't like hit it you know there's a different sound there i'm just trying to prove to you guys they are different materials so i'm happy you know it's refreshing to see a new type of comb like this however i'm a little disappointed in these white stripes like it looks good right here like this is a good angle but it's like they painted them like they wrapped them around which i don't know why they would do it like that and then they didn't match up evenly there you can see especially on the bottom there and also it's a darker more pure white like when they overlap so it's honestly like they took two like stickers and wrapped them around and when they overlap it's a more pure white because then here it kind of fades and you can see some paint inconsistencies especially right there i mean it looks like a tiger clawed at it it's very blemished but oh well, really not that big of a deal to me. Like I really don't care that much. For whatever reason, there's a four printed there and there's like this little divot. I don't know, I'm just happy that we got a new looking cone from you know these ones which were included in the movie moment series with Marlon Clutches McKay, Charlie Checker, Dexter Hoover, and then like advent calendars, stuff like that. That's where you got Mr. Light Cone and Mr. Dark Cone. All right. So I looked up in between the clips what this actually is called because I know it's not a vacuum. I was being dumb. It's a floor scrubber or a floor cleaner if you want to be a little bit more general. The Buffington X logo here is a decal that's printed. So that's cool. I'm glad it's not a sticker and it's very clear. They should do that like on the actual tile and die cast. Now what also made her kind of vault into the top three releases is that this accessory is really nicely done like the wheels move so it rolls obviously it doesn't roll perfectly because those are the only two wheels it has but like it rolls so i'm happy about that it doesn't have any metal though besides those two screws you can see it says tylen right there here are what's meant to be the scrubbers so they're outlined in circles there but they don't actually turn or anything they're just kind of for show they look good you have like this attachment here. I don't think it pops out of that. I don't want to break it, but you got this like flexible tube here that goes into this bottom part. And then you could see like some legs there, or maybe those are meant to be smaller wheels. Like if this was a real thing, those would also be some smaller wheels, but they are basically just legs that don't even touch the ground because this is lower. And then you have like the control panel right here. So just a great accessory all around. I was not anticipating them to put so much work and detail into it. I do wish that she could like slide her forks under it though. Like you can't like there's not really a good place for her to push it. I guess she could push it like this, but you know, it's obviously impossible to turn it or you could set it on top like that, which looks a little bit better. I don't know. I guess she would just push it like this and then move her forks to catch it when she wants to turn it I guess so yeah there's that we've never gotten a floor scrubber accessory before so that's nice and new but here's the moment of truth guys the reason why she's vaulted into my top three is because she is the first ever in my opinion I think I mean obviously I don't have a perfect memory but I think she's the first ever pity to have a metal base and a metal body Look at this. Her base is metal. Since when? Like I know I can't really prove it to you, but you could tell that that's metal there. Like looking at it, it doesn't look like the plastic on like Lightning McQueen there. And I mean, even at these other pities, like you could tell that that is a shiny shade of green and that's a dull shade of green because it's plastic. And you could tell it with all these other pities that they've released. I mean, throughout the years, not just this year, we go back to Megan Shifter, we go to Guido, we go to this airport pity. They're all plastic bases. So whatever compelled them to do a metal, how do you, and a metal base? I have no idea. It's literally riveting. No pun intended. The other thing I wanted to say that's a little bit more bold is this literally might be one of the only cars that has ever had a metal base and a metal body because I can't think of one like I can't think of another time where they did a car with a metal base and a metal body they do that with Hot Wheels sometimes but not Disney cars so I'm just baffled and I'm really happy about it but let me know your thoughts down below 
because other than that, she's a very basic looking pity. So customizers can just run wild with her. You know, she's just a basic white color can go nuts. I want to see people go nuts. But yeah, I love the expression. I like that she's looking to the side. So she's not a robot. Slight indentation there. You can see for the mouth. You can feel it too. So yeah, so the plastic is only in her forks here, which is just a typical gray. And then the white tires and wheels there, which I like that they're white. Obviously, like the movie, it's like she's wearing some special scrubs, special shoes to clean. Yeah, I'm very, very impressed with her. P32A means that she was made in the 32nd week of 2021 at the A factory. Now, naturally, I have a lot of pities to compare her to because she is one of the most basic pities they've ever released in terms of design. So it makes it easy to find others to compare to. And I wanted to start with like all the band members they did this year. Not only because they did them all this year, but they all lack that baggage that all the Piston Cup pities had. You know, these like boxes on the side and whatnot. But Millie is bigger than them all. And I will also show Double Clutch Daily here, but he's the same model as Pam Wheeldaro, just with a different accessory. I'd say Rich Hurry is probably the most similar, but even then, not really. You have Jessica Gian Patrol, so another white pity, but this is one of the scientist ones, and she's got that rounded model. Here's another janitor type white pity from the Tokyo party staff. Although his floor scrubber is this nasty looking sponge that's got basically Miles Axelrod's oil. Ugh, that's kind of gross. Yeah, I mean, he knows it too. Like, look at that face. Yeah, he knows it. Whereas Millie gets this nice floor scrubber machine. Here we have Megan Shifter. So again, like I said, she's got like these little bump outs there i really want to know what these are actually called i've been calling them baggage bump outs boxes here we have the pity that i believe is like the same exact model i really do think these are the exact same model nat mclugnant one of the airport pities and so then michael Hongsel as well but i'm not showing him because they are the same but i do believe these two are like the same model just one's china one that's Thailand. And it's kind of interesting because there is a six year gap between them. These guys came out in 2015. But if you look at it, the reason why Nat looks bigger, I think, is because he has the plastic hat edition, which gives him some extra height. As you can see there, it gives him that additional height and then the headset as well. So you got to take that into account here. But everything else is identical, even down to the rims look at these wheels like the dots the spokes are in the same exact spot for the most part now those front tires there the center spoke isn't as big and so it's not touching the surrounding spokes or the surrounding dots but i mean if you guys look at the indentations here on the back like they all have the exact same lines uh, maybe my theory is blown though because this line is much higher up here in the back and this one's much lower. I guess my theory is blown with that, but they are the most similar models. If you were to look at all the pities. So yeah, guys, now to compare her to, of course, Guido, the god of pities. He really is like the staple of all pities. And yet he's never really that similar to the pity we're reviewing. Unless it happens to be like this guy or Uncle Topolino's band. But yeah. That is all for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think about that metal base, metal body type of thing. Because I think that's just so cool. And yet I have no idea why they did that all of a sudden. Because, you know, again, they've never done that before. But yeah, that concludes 2021. Like I said, I might review another 2021 car. I will actually, because that's the definition of the 12 days of Christmas. But you guys know what I mean. This is the typical reviewing season and anything in the 12 days of Christmas is slightly different, you know, right? This is, you know, where I review all the new stuff and it's been a great year. It's been a wonderful year and I'm very happy to end on a high note with Millie because she is, like I said, one of my all-time favorites from the 
year. And I will see you guys soon for another video. Bye now.